you know what, I'm feeling pretty motivated this week. I had a really good week of training last week, just getting back into things. And now I feel like it's go time. The World Championships preparations has begun. And I'm super excited. I'm super excited to eventually be back competing at World Championships. And also just excited to give everything into training. I should leave every session with no regrets, giving 100% of my effort into training. And I love that feeling. I love that satisfying feeling when you leave the gym exhausted, body sore, but you know in your head you've given everything. And that's what makes the difference when you're out there on the big stage. I started off my morning today by listening to some motivational videos and also setting the goal of not being on my phone for too much this week. I've noticed that it's become more of a habit for me to pick up my phone, scroll through social media mindlessly, and that's just a waste of time and energy. You feel drained after doing that, so I'm gonna try and cut that out this week and just focus on improving myself and my gymnastics. <laughs> fire patreon questions lawrence asks can someone be too old to start gymnastics no there's many gymnastics clubs that run adult classes specifically once or twice a week so if you are interested in getting into gymnastics you start at a very low level and they build you up into eventually being able to do a backflip or something cool a party trick so no never too old to start gymnastics peter asks what kind of camera equipment do you have and do you have your eyes on anything new so what i shoot these vlogs on is the sony zv1 and this is just the perfect camera for me. I just wanted something that I can pull out of my pocket, open, and start filming straight away with that great quality. I've also got a DSLR, I'll show you. So I have this, the Nikon D3300. Takes pretty good photos. And then I also have this, GoPro Hero 6. And I'm really happy with the image quality of this. I feel like it just gives great underwater footage and any footage that I don't want to bring this camera with me on that's maybe a bit too chalky in the gym or messy outside the gym, this is perfect for that. And then also this, underrated. Use your phone to video more if you want to start videoing. It's got a great camera. The camera quality and phones now are great, so I recommend just using them if you don't want to splash out on an expensive camera. Thank you Patreon supporters for the questions, and now let's make our way to Dublin. I have myself a training partner this week. What's up, girl? Hey, hey, hey! session there just doing some basics for now but even the basics on pommel are pretty difficult that's why I'm getting my sweat on right now body's feeling good my basics are improving after some time off slowly but surely we'll work our way into some routines on pommel but for now we'll hop over on the floor and see what skills we can get back and some new skills as well on the floor but I need to make sure that my body's fully prepared for the new skills so to not injure myself obviously that's the Rule number one of gymnastics, don't get injured. Right, this time it's already recording. I always ruin your videos. <laughs>
just doing a small landing routine on the floor. Well, I actually done two routines. Adam didn't record the first one. Anyway, just basics on floor today. Stretching out now, finishing up the session. Yeah, good to have Adam back in the gym, doing his thing, you know. They call him Adam Jet Black, because he's got jet black hair now. In fact, quite the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good start to the week. Monday is over, and now it's time to rest up and prepare for the rest of the week. So my goal this week is to get solid basics and prepare to then prepare for routines. What's your goal, Adam? Oh, you've got another skill in your mind, do you not? That's a secret. Oh! Guess you'll have to wait and find out, folks. I'm definitely gonna record. I'm definitely gonna record it and put it on YouTube, though. Oh yeah. If you do this skill. All right, we're back at the Gymnastics Ireland house now, so I think I should answer a couple more Patreon quick fire questions. Elena has asked, what elements have you trained in the past but had to give up on because they were too risky? So specifically for pong horse, this happens a lot. You learn a new skill and then you just have to forget about it because it just doesn't fit into your routine. I can almost do every skill on pommel horse, but that doesn't mean I can put all of the skills into my routine. There only has to be 10 skills in your routine. So the ones that best combine together to create the best score possible pretty much are the ones that I'm going to select. So there has been ones in the past that are too risky for the routine right now, but hopefully over time I can consolidate them to then be slotted into that routine nicely without risking any executional errors. Jared says, definitely off topic of gymnastics, but your skin always looks good. Do you have a skincare routine? And I don't think my skin is good. I always get shaving rashes and stuff, but I don't, uh, I don't know. I just like moisturize with baby lotion after uh, a shave and stuff. And, yeah, no, nothing, nothing special to be honest. But if anyone's got tips for taking away shaving rashes, I always get them. Susan asks, who are some other gymnasts, male and female, that you particularly enjoy watching and why? I mean, in the sport right now, there's just obviously a couple of standout people. On the female side, of course, the queen, Simone Biles. I love watching Sinisa Lee's gymnastics, especially her bar routine. It is beautiful. And on the men's side, the standout ones for me are Daiki Hashimoto, the current Olympic all-around champion, and soon to be possibly one of the greatest of all time. And also from China, Zhu Jingyan. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Awful at names. Anyway, Zhu is a lovely guy as well, but his gymnastics is just oh, so beautiful, especially his P-bars. Obviously, he's the current. Olympic champion on P-bars and by a long shot. I love gymnasts that are so far ahead of the rest of their field and Zhu is just one of those guys on P-bars. It's some of the best gymnastics that anybody's ever seen. Over the weekend as well, I also set myself the challenge of learning how to do a backflip on a paddleboard. Check this out. Yes, yes. If you're on the Patreon, you would have already seen the exclusive vlog where I first went paddleboarding and that was fun, but I just needed to take it to the next level. And I think I'll start to do that more on weekends, set little challenges for myself and the feeling I got after landing that backflip on the paddleboard was so good. It was like I was a kid again, learning a new skill in gymnastics and I guess that's why I fell in love with gymnastics in the first place. So hopefully you're going to see a lot more challenges I set myself at the weekend. Anyway, that should wrap up this video for today. I want to get in the rhythm of uploading a lot more frequently, so stay tuned for that. And a big special thank you to all of the Patreon supporters. I love having conversations with you guys, and I'm forever grateful for you supporting the channel. A free way to support the channel is just by hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving a comment, let me know what you think. But for now, I'll catch you in the next video.